this summer, I will have a book released titled Three Ex-Husbands, But All Things Are Possible. <laughs> did, you, did you just catch that? <laughs> yep. Three, that's a movie. Three Ex-Husbands. Mm -hmm. You heard me. <laughs> <laughs> all Things Are Possible. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let's unpack that. <laughs> Hello, friends. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Backpack Podcast, where we unpack your story so others can embrace it. My team and I have had the pleasure of flying all over the country to gather great stories from great individuals who have experienced success on all different levels. Our team would love to capture your story, so be sure to email us for more information. Now, before we get started, what I'd like for you to do is hit that subscribe button so that you can be alerted for all premium content from the Backpack Podcast. So now, are you ready? Let's go unpack. Welcome back to the Backpack Podcast with your host, Darnell. Uh, I want to first of all ask you to make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can be a part of the next episode of the Backpack Podcast. Make sure you like. And as a matter of fact, can you do this for me? Can you go down to the comments? And let me know where you're watching this from um, and uh, that you're ready to unpack another story. Ladies and gentlemen, I am excited because I have a good friend uh, who is a mother. Yes. An author. Yes. A wife. Whoop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's an entrepreneur. Yes. Real estate agent. Mm -hmm. I don't have any more fingers. I'd have to use the others. <laughs> For the rest of your titles, Arvetta Diggs. Yes. In the place to be. Arvetta, if I had a, a, you know, I keep asking for this. I need to work on my technicians. I need a clap button right here so I can. <sighs> Arvetta, thank you for joining me on the Backpack Podcast. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Absolutely. I appreciate it. So <clears throat> I know, um, you know, on this on this uh, podcast, video podcast, we unpack stories. And if you can see, I have my backpacks. So we're unpacking uh, some stories okay. today. Yes, <laughs> I want to bring my backpack. All right, all People right. need to know this is a backpack right. podcast. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, okay. um, um, we're unpacking stories so others can embrace it. Entrepreneur stories. People, why did you get involved in what you what 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 gave you the spark to do what you're doing? Mm -hmm. So I'm excited mm -hmm. because I know um, I know with all that you have do, you, all that you're doing. One of the things that we want to focus on is your book. Yes. Uh, so I did my introduction. You're mm -hmm. an amazing person. Um, um, I won't go into all that you've done in my life and help me help uh, on some of the things that I've done. But um, I want you to introduce a little bit about yourself before we start unpacking your story about why you do what you do. Okay. Well, again. Thank you so much. I am excited to be here. Thank you. Thank and um, I do feel like this is a full circle moment it is. for us. It is. Because it's been 20 years. 20 years. Yeah. So that means years. I had to start when I was one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then I was. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that age. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Okay. Full circle moment. Yeah, full circle. Years. Yes, yes. So oh. I am honored to be here with you. Thank you. Very I'm much better. so. Thank you. Um, but yes, I am a co-author now. Um, proud to be a co-author. Tell the, me the name of the book. The book is Words of Wisdom for the Heart and Soul, Volume 2. Okay. And we are number one bestseller what on Amazon? Did I catch a number one bestseller? That's right. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't be surprised, yeah. but yeah. Wow. Yep, number one. So congratulations. Thank you so much. Another clap. Yep. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. Um, but it's thirty six um, co authors. Um, the visionary is Kathy Statton, and um, she's in uh, she's in Virginia. And um, like I said, I'm proud to be one of those co authors. And um, I wrote a chapter, and it's called Undeniably Valuable. Undeniably Valuable. Mm hmm Wow. Yep. Okay, is that the first thing we're going to unpack, or are you going to keep going? Um, 
you want me to tell you about the chapter? Please oh, do. Okay, okay, unpack okay, that. Okay, okay. The people say, please unpack that. <laughs> please unpack that. Okay. Yes. Well, undeniably <laughs> valuable. That chapter, basically, um, there was a time in my life where um, I used to just look for love and all the wrong places mm. looking for love in, in all, all the wrong places, places. yeah, yeah. And we can't <laughs> hear ourselves but i bet you they can <laughs> uh, yeah but yeah i used to look for love in all the wrong places and um i didn't i didn't understand my value i didn't know my worth and i mean i don't call myself a beyonce or um Vanessa Williams or anything, but I'm not an ugly truck either. Okay. You know? Ain't no ugly okay. truck. I get it. <laughs> Ain't no ugly truck. I get it. But I know value is not defined by outward beauty. Okay. So, but I had to learn that. And um, my value is, for me, is my core. You know, it's mm. my, my personality, my spirit, you know, and those things like that. So, for me, learning that my, I'm, undeniably valuable is is unbreakable you can't you can't break you can't break that it's 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 irreplaceable mm. you know so so Arvetta, i think that's that undeniably valuable it's pretty strong mm -hmm. where did that come from how did you get there you know like how did you get there you know how did you get to that point where you could say oh, undeniably valuable learning to forgive myself going back looking looking at the things that I did in my past and just facing the ugliness of my past mm -hmm. and forgiving myself and once I did that and learning to love myself again that's that's how I came to that you know so being that that's such a big a strong statement you know being that you're an entrepreneur and you know I would say would this be accurate to say this provoked you to whatever happened mm -hmm. provoked you to start and say I can do this mm -hmm. I can do this what did you forgive yourself of if you don't mind me asking yeah well um the relationships I I jumped in and out of different relationships mm -hmm. I made a lot of emotional decisions I jumped from one thing to another just seeking attention you know thinking that okay this person is showing me attention and thinking that that was, oh, this is love. Right. You know, so forgiving myself for just staying in situations longer than I should have. Gotcha. You know, so, um, and taking my kids through different things, you know, taking them, allowing them to see things that, you know, they shouldn't have seen. Mm. So, um, and, and finally just putting a halt to it. It you sounds know. like you, you know, it, <clears throat> I was in one of the last interviews I had one of the young ladies said she takes pride in work mm -hmm. working on herself mm -hmm. it's a big deal for her and what I hear and what you're saying is I put in the work mm -hmm. and sometimes it's hard it's hard to work on yourself it's hard to look at yourself in the mirror and say that's ugly yeah you know I don't like what I see on the other side mm -hmm. But then that's one thing. Right. But then the actual consistent work to get to the other side, mm -hmm. to get to undeniably valuable. Mm -hmm. How much time did that take? Oh, it's, it's a daily process. It's not overnight. Mm. It's a daily process. And sometimes you feel like I can't do it. Right. You know, because you got I mean, you may run into a wall. You I mean, it, you're going to cry. Mm. You know, I mean, you're going to feel like a failure. You know, because every it's not skipping through the lily fields. Right. You know, so you're it's 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 a daily process. You know, it's a constant it's a constant work. Someone is gonna try to, you know, make you feel you you feel like, Okay, I made it but then somebody may come or come along and, and and tell you something different. And if you're not up on your game or up on your confidence or, you know, speaking life to yourself. Right then you're going to believe that. Right. So. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so you did the you did the, the book, which it's a beautiful book, by the way. You know, Thank you. Where can you find the book? You the can way? find the book on my website at www.bumsiesbooks.com. 
dot com. That's I love that. <laughs> you, you, you did a PSA. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, did I? Yeah, you did. I, I did a you plug. You just cut the whole personality <laughs> and www. And go ahead, and where this again? It's www.bumsiesbooks.com. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So go get 100 of them. Yes. Words of wisdom. Words of wisdom Words for the heart and soul. For the heart and soul. Yes. <clears throat> what I know about you, I don't mm -hmm. know all the other ladies, what I know about you mm -hmm. is you are, you wear your heart on your sleeve. Yeah. Um, I guess that could be good and bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm, what I mean by that, though, is you love hard. You do things from your heart. Uh, we didn't talk about this, but we work together. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember one of our first interactions, uh, we met at Barnes & Nobles. That's right. Yep. Oh, my gosh. Yep. Yep. We met at Barnes & Nobles, and... You were wanting to start writing, mm -hmm. and I remember you being nervous. Oh, <laughs> you were you nervous. taking it way back. <clears throat> wait, 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 wait. Wow. Um, but what I, I remember giving you some kind of assignment or something, but what I remember about that was you did not take it lightly. You came in with both feet, everything all in, and you knocked wow. it out the park. I was I was blown away because a lot of times when people say, "Hey, I'm I'm interested in doing something or I want to do something," you know, when you give them something mm -hmm, to do, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm, <laughs> you know mm -hmm. that's what it's like. <laughs> I really did really want to do it. I uh -huh. just, it was a good idea, but you, I always, you know, you were all in, oh, always all wow, in. Wow, wow. You know, so I'm not surprised that mm -hmm. you have a number one best selling book on Amazon. That's not surprising uh -huh. to me because you're an all in person and you should receive the hundredfold harvest. Thank you on being all in. Appreciate um, that. Yes. That's absolutely. awesome. Yeah. I forgot about that. I didn't. See? I didn't. That's I remember awesome. all the interactions. Okay. But <clears throat> so our our vet at your book, mm -hmm. um, what's next? Next is um during this process I um I uh was able to get over writer's block i was working on a um solo book project and um this this process helped me to get beyond that and hopefully this summer well it's going to happen this summer i will have a book released titled three ex-husbands but all things are possible <laughs> did, you, did you just catch that <laughs> Yep. Three. That's a movie. Three ex husbands. Mm -hmm. You heard me. <laughs> <laughs> All things are possible. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let's unpack that. <laughs> Let's unpack that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. So I imagine that's a catalyst for even the words of wisdom. Yes. Yes, this this my 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 chapter un, undeniably valuable. I call it a prequel to three ex husbands, but all things are possible. Now, is this a nonfiction or fiction book? Is it true or untrue? It's true. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Arveda, mm -hmm. are you serious? Yep. It must have taken a lot of courage for you to even name the book Three Husbands. Yeah, I went through a lot of different um, titles in my mind, but this is the one. Why that one? Um, The premise is uh, the woman at the well, the woman uh, Jesus met at the well. So I used to, uh, I used to be ashamed, honestly. And um, I used to, you know, pray and Lord, like, Lord... I don't want to be like the woman, you know, at the well. She had all them husbands. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> but she had a story, you she know. Did. She had a backstory, and we and, all listened to right. it. And, we'll, and, 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 and right, exactly. And she, I mean, she went on to tell. She went after Jesus told her about herself and everything, and he loved on her. And she went on throughout her community and told about Jesus. Yeah. Hey, I have a story too. I have a backstory, and and my story is giving her voice, giving the woman at the well voice, and whoever else voice 
that has, you know, similar situation. Wow. So. That's pretty amazing. It's amazing that you're able to voice it. Mm Mm-hmm. And that you have something valuable to say, even though you went through those things. Mm -hmm. Undeniably valuable. Undeniably valuable. Oh, I get it. Unpacking. Um, Zip, zip. uh, Zip, zip. (laughs) (laughs) Arvetta, that is amazing. Yeah, thank you. That is amazing. I tell you, you know, and I think that's what's so important about the Backpack Backpack Podcast, because stories help drive our our lives you know just like you use the woman in the at the well how old is that story right Mm -hmm. and we're talking about it today Mm -hmm. how it impacted you Mm -hmm. you know i don't want to be like her he's like no but i used her Mm -hmm. exactly and that story that you're relating to is a story that also you can use to help millions of Mm -hmm. people she didn't have youtube and she didn't have a podcast (laughs) But you do. Mm-hmm. And I'm excited for you because, you know, one, it sounds like healing has taken place. Yes. You know, and that you're at a good place mm-hmm. and um, that you're able to now create a business around it. You know, that, you know, what what genius God has put in the inside of you, you're utilizing to not only help people because that's what businesses do. Right. That's what they should do. Mm-hmm. Serve people, mm-hmm. you know. That's what the whole point of business, I believe, is, um, you know, find, fill, find a need and fill it. Right. You're finding a need. There are millions of divorced people, mm-hmm. right. women who have been divorced, right. remarried, and probably are ashamed right. for some reason or another. <clears throat> I'm talking particularly in that category, not that people who are married or couldn't be ashamed, but as it relates to what your book, um, but you're bringing a voice of victory, mm-hmm. That's right. you know, restoration, uh, restoration, reconciliation, everything, reconciliation. Because yeah. I'm not, I don't condone divorce, right? You know, so yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, mm-hmm. man, I am. That is, you know, I always watch you on uh, Facebook. If you don't have not watched her, <laughs> please watch her. I call her the inspirational entertainer. Entertainer. You're like you're inspirational, <laughs> but you're entertaining. Uh-huh. Like you, she works out. She tells jokes. <laughs> she rebukes people on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she dances. Uh, she does pranks on her uh-huh, husband, yeah. <laughs> um, which is also very very cool because you have a great relationship with your mm-hmm. husband. Um, and I I really like seeing that. You know, mm-hmm. I stalk you on Facebook yeah. and I watch all your cool <laughs> stuff that you guys do, but. Um, I just I I am I, I'm glad to hear that you're able to bring a voice mm-hmm. and to serve other women. Mm-hmm. You know, what else would you like to say? Or is there anything else you'd like to unpack? You know, as it relates to the book. Well, um, I hope when um, people read it that they are inspired and encouraged by it, and um, that they get something from it, even if it's just one person. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Wow, Arveta Diggs. Say the website again. It's www.bumsiesbooks.com. <laughs> Bumsiesbooks.com. Yes. We have unpacked yet another story so that others can embrace it. Please hit that subscribe button so you can hear the next episode. There's all kind of information about what Arvetta is doing, her real estate stuff, uh, her books, everything. If you look down below. Under the comment section, you'll see all of her information, how to contact her. Please contact her uh, about all of it. She's a great real estate agent. She's a phenomenal writer. Um, also for writing movies and plays, I'm plugging her because I know I've seen her work. Um, oh, reach out. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm writing the movie. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing that here. <laughs> but, oh. Yes. Okay. But I'm so excited um, for her. Again, a 20-year journey. You know what we say on this show the journey is the reward and i you know the the cool thing about this is after 20 years we're we're kind of doing the same things you know mm-hmm. um but we've matured yeah you know yeah. and uh, along the way you know i heard <clears throat> or recently uh i heard you talking with my wife and sharing a story about your son and how you grew from a conversation from your son 
um, it, it, the light bulb went off and you, you know, were able to release your daughter mm-hmm. and you release. And, but the maturity part of that, you right. know, again, serving others right. because of your maturity. Right. I think that's so cool. Yeah. I think that's so cool. Yeah. So hit that subscribe button. And uh, until next time, I'm out.